In this video, we're going to look at creating distribution maps. With the GIS Viewer, you can create distribution maps which represent point density, demographic information stored in shape files, or statistical summaries of numerical values associated with text segments. This thematic map uses differences in shading and coloring within predefined geographic regions to indicate a numerical value or a quantity of a property. The value can be computed either on numerical data associated with the shapefiles or from one or several point layers. Let's get started. We're once again working from a QDA minor project containing over 59,000 crime reports from San Francisco. I'm just going to unselect these layers for a moment. To create a distribution map, select Analysis from the menu at the top of the screen and scroll down to Distribution. Or you can simply click this button. This dialog allows you to determine what will be plotted and how it will appear. Set the polygon layer list box to the vector layer with the geographic areas on which the distribution will be based. The value to be plotted may be obtained from two sources. Data associated with the selected shapefile, or data computed on data points associated with point layers. To plot data on a shapefile, select the Value in Polygon Layer radio button. Using the field list box, select the field containing the numerical data to display. The options in the drop-down depend on the data present in the shapefile. In our case, one of the options is square mileage, so let's choose that. You can then adjust the appearance of the map. You can specify the colors and the level of shades that will be used to represent the distribution of numerical values, as well as the opacity of the layer. We will stick with five levels and we're going to change and add a middle color and move our end color to something darker. We'll keep the opacity at 100. Each color represents a range of square mileage with yellow being the smallest and brown being the largest. This distribution map is only mapping the square mileage of the different zip codes. It is currently telling us nothing about the data in our QDA Miner project. But if we reactivate the layers on the map, now we can see the data points from our project superimposed on the shapefile data. We can see that there's a higher concentration of financial crime in this area, even though it's smaller. But we know this is downtown, so it makes sense. The second way to plot data is with data computed from the data points associated with the point layers. This information comes from your QDA Miner project or your WordStat project, not from the shape file. I'm just going to uncheck these boxes, and we'll go back to our distribution map dialog. Select the Computed Values on Point Layers radio button. I want to see the count of personal crime per zip code. I'll check Personal Crime and set Plot on Count, which it's already set on. This adds the number of data points in each zip code and represents the total with a color from the spectrum. I'm going to set the colors like they were in the previous map. We can see that most of the personal crime occurs within this central area. If we take a look at this area, down to the left, we can see that there are very few personal crimes taking place in this area. Let me go back. We can also map statistics on numerical variables associated with all data points in the geographic area. The average available median, statistics minimum, include the maximum and the sum.
When any of the above statistics are selected, the of list box will allow you to select on which numerical variable the selected statistics will be computed. Let's look at the average of the personal crimes per zip by threat level. This is a numerical variable representing threat level in the data set. This was determined by the level of violence associated with each type of crime. I'm going to reset my colors. In our previous map, we saw there was less personal crime over in this area. But now we can see that even though there is less personal crime, the personal crime that is taking place has a higher threat or violence level. We can also see that there is a lower level of threat or violence in the crimes taking place in this area. And those are the two different ways that you can plot data on your distribution map. The first way associated with the shapefile, and the second way data computed from data points associated with the point layers.